Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We're gonna do a thrift store makeover. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I am in the she shop today and I got a lot of projects going on. They're all gonna get done. Hopefully most of them today. One of them is this lovely. So if you've been watching the daily vlog, then you saw this thing and you know that when I picked this up, the woman at the thrift store said, isn't it just beautiful? I just love it. <laughs> if you just love it, avert your gaze because it ain't gonna look like this when we're done. What I wanna do with this is more of a farmhouse look and a letters to Santa sort of thing. So inside of it, you hear something rattling around. They had something glued to it as the, as the knob. I found this little guy in my stash. Look at the paint's all drippy. Oh, whoever did this just did a terrible job. Um, I found this little knob. We're gonna drill that in here and we're gonna make this letters to Santa. So I'm gonna take this 1980s kind of nightmare don't, don't give me grief, y'all. You know this is a nightmare. And uh, we're gonna turn it into more of a farmhouse kind of color, classy, and letters to Santa. Stay tuned. First thing we need to do is we need to get some sandpaper on that bad boy because there is texture. You can see, not only did they drip paint, but the paint job that they put on here has like glitter in it and texture. So uh, we're going to get rid of the drips and the texture and then uh, in the process I'm going to sand a bunch of other crap. So just I'm going to put you on time lapse and just watch me sand. This is for the tutorial. Um, Okay, so I sanded it with the palm sander and still, after I got it done, there's still this, I, ew, it survived the palm sander. So I'm gonna have to hand sand some of this crap off of here. I don't like that. Um, I'm a heavy duty sand. I'm down here. Bird's feet have texture. It's like they took um, dots, the dots of paint to represent snow and it's just like globs of paint. Sure. See, bye bye birdie. To all of you who love the birdie. Say goodbye. I told you to stop watching. I am going to primer this, um, not because there's going to be paint bleed or like, I don't think, it's not like stain where you're going to have a bleed, but there's so many colors on here. I want it nice and even when I paint my colors. So primer helps just like do a massive coat and get nice even. Glitter. I'm not against glitter. I'm against the context they put it in. Ooh. Holly. Gosh. Oh 
Holy wow, guys. Oh, the texture, the texture. I think this was meant to look like birch bark. Like when I looked at it for a hot second while I was sanding and I thought, is that supposed to look like birch? It doesn't. It really does not. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I did want to sing about there. Oh! This is hot glue. All right. I hand sand a couple more places and we'll get after it. Took a little effort to bust through that. I need to get the labels off the bottom. So I brought up my undo and my goo gone. We need to get the hole drilled for the uh, handle, which is awkward here. I don't even know how to drill this. There we go. Unfortunately, because it's still on here, I've marked the spot where I want it. Now, my desk obviously is a work surface. I don't care about drilling into it. If you're drilling and you care about your tabletop, do not do this unless you put something under here like a block of wood. Maybe I'll do that just to, because there's going to be some troll out there who's going to be like, you should have done this. Yeah, 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 should have done For all the trolls out there, there you go. I've protected my surface. There's a whole bunch of trolls out there that want to tell me everything I'm doing wrong. This would have been better if you did this. This would have been better if you did this. Life would be better if it wasn't me, huh? It's your own channel. All right. All right, we got our hole drilled for our knob and then I'm gonna sand that down and we are going to prime it. We are on day two and I'm ready to paint the birdhouse. Um, I picked up this paint at Ace Hardware on their Oops Paint rack. It cost me two bucks. Look at that. Who throws out an off-white? An off-white sample, no less. So we're going to open this sucker up. This is what we're going to use on our letters to Santa. Perfect off-white. Perfect farmhouse. Country white. You can see the primer did not completely cover all the blue, but we're going to get the paint on it anyway. Oh yeah, it's covering nice. Coat one is done, and I don't know that it will need a second coat. I'm gonna wait to see how it dries. But the blue is gone, the bird is gone. Bye, bye, birdie. <laughs> I'm happy that the bird is gone, frankly. Now let's address this. The knob. What do we think we want to do with that? I'm thinking oil rub bronze because this is kind of minky. This is a brass knob. Do we just clean the brass? And it's time to stencil. If you haven't yet seen my tutorial on how to stencil without paint bleed, I'll put a link in the description below. Remember what she looked like before? 
And this is what she looks like now. Much better. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.